ago, the World Bank estimated that agricultural land in India makes up 60% of all land on the subcontinent. Clearly, agriculture is an essential industry for our country now, just as it has always been. It is an essential need for humanity to have sustainable food production and a sustainable way to make a living. Clearly, we've come a long, long way since the first Green Revolution of 1968 but there's still many a slip between planting a seed and achieving a safe, quality harvest that can bring the 213 million hungry mouths down to zero. Producing a healthy, resilient and safe harvest is still a challenge for India. Did you know that India loses 18% of its crop yield every year due to pest attacks? We can value the financial loss due to these pest attacks at 90,000 crore rupees every year. Hello and welcome. I'm Manvi Dhillon and you're watching DuPont Presents The Power of Shunya Quest for Zero. Over the next half hour, we'll look at the challenges facing the Indian agricultural sector and at two companies pushing Indian agriculture forward, helping it modernize for the 21st century as they pursue their goal of zero crop failure and zero hunger. It gives me great pleasure to welcome on the show Professor M. S. Swaminathan, the father of the Green Revolution in India. Professor Swaminathan, thank you so much for joining us on the show. You played a leading role in the Green Revolution in India. What at that stage was the importance of innovation and what today in Indian agriculture is the importance of innovation? Innovation is the foundation of our progress. Science is the change agent, transformation agent. Whereas information technology today, the mobile phone has completely transformed how we communicate. Therefore, always technology, innovation are the starting point of great changes. Small in incremental changes uh, you can produce by other methods, but larger jumps can come from only from innovation. Agriculture, why is it still so critical for the economy, for our growth, for our development as a nation? Agriculture is not only a food producing machine in our country. It is the backbone of the livelihood security system of over 60% of the population. It used to be 80% in 1947. Fortunately, some diversification has taken place. But 60% of our present population is a very large number, more than the whole population of India at the time of independence. Therefore, it's a livelihood industry. And if you want to ensure uh, the abolition of poverty, malnutrition, we'll have to attend to agriculture, particularly to the farmers, the farm families. If you had to list the top three challenges that Indian agriculture faces today, what would you put on that list? One is climate change. Uh, more frequent uh, drought, more frequent floods. We are not able to predict weather in, in the same way as we used to do before. The second important is ours is a country of young people. Uh, it's the land of the youth. Uh, so demographic dividend in agriculture from the young people. Somehow the younger generation don't want to take to agriculture. They want to take to other, maybe IT, maybe other kinds of, once you are educated, so how to attract and retain youth in farming mm -hmm. is a very major challenge. And the third uh, very important point is the fact that we are not able to uh, provide the farmers with all the inputs which are needed, uh, the assured marketing, the storage, post harvest infrastructure. Media are always full of stories of how the grains are rotting and so on. Uh, we have not made enough investment. Uh, in the area of post harvest technology. These are serious threats to future of food security in our country. I've often said the future belongs to nations with grains and not guns. 
guns you can purchase, but grains you can't purchase. One aspect of it is also crop losses due to pest attacks. Uh, one estimate suggests that India loses 18% of its crop yield to pest attacks. How large and grave is this problem? Our problems are faced with what I call the unholy triple alliance of pests, pathogens and weeds because we are a tropical country. A lot of weeding is also there. So they use herbicides and so on. Now, anything which is applied in excess or without proper scientific advice will have strong repercussions. Many, many farmers have benefited from the use of pesticides. These scientifically engineered agricultural supplements not only reduce crop failure, they bring economic benefits to the farmers and ensure food safety. But what if pesticides do more harm than good? According to a report by the Agrochemicals Policy Group, spurious and substandard pesticides accounted for 40% of all pesticide sales in India in 2012. The problem of counterfeit pesticides is a huge one in India. And if we are to achieve zero crop failure and ultimately zero hunger, we must find a way to ensure that our products actually help rather than hurt farmers. DuPont has taken up the challenge of countering counterfeit and substandard pesticides with a holistic approach. Take a look. Most people living in the village of Mavana in Meerut are engaged in sugarcane farming. Until a few years ago, Sachin Kumar was a thriving farmer. But his ignorance about insecticides inflicted huge damage to his sugarcane yield, leaving his field dry and barren. Boy, kari hai. Uske 40-45 din baad mein hume keeda hamare ganne pe lag jata tha. Or 50 percent nast nast kar deta tha. Or jab hum market jaate the, to market jaakar humne apne dukan wale se kaha ki hamare ganne mein bimari lagi hui hai. Wo dawai de dete the aur hum uspe chidkao kar dete the. Chidkao karne ke 10-15 din ke andar to काफी अच्छा सा लगता था खेत फिर भी ऐसा का ऐसा ही हो जाता था पत्ती सूखने लगती थी हमारी उपज नष्ट होने लगती थी To protect farmers like Sachin the DuPont crop protection team is leading the fight against the menace of counterfeit insecticides which has serious implications not just in the fields but also down the food chain We often don't get a sense of how counterfeit pesticides or substandard pesticides affect the entire value chain from the time you plant a seed to the food that you put in your mouth. Walk us through that impact, if you will. If the chemical is not good, it can actually damage your crop. So it can burn your crop or cause a lot of injury to flowers, leaves and other things. Now, if a farmer is applying a spurious chemical without knowing what is inside and what's the you know, recommended pre-harvest interval, so he can potentially apply very close to harvest, which then makes it very serious because then the chemical gets into the food chain and then it's carried over into the market. To avoid such repercussions, DuPont Crop Protection is empowering sugarcane farmers with an economical and easy to use chemistry called Coragin. This formulation increases the productivity manifold and keeps the counterfeiters at bay with the innovative ISON technology and traceology. Mr. Mudholkar, let's talk about the specific technologies being deployed by DuPont to address this issue of counterfeit pesticides. ISON technology, what is it? So this is a genuine uh, Corrigan bottle <clears throat> and it has ISON sticker, which is a genuine DuPont uh, technology sticker. So if you observe closely inside the ticker, uh, sticker, uh, this is a 3D technology as on uh, sticker. And it has around DuPont oval, you know, 10 dots arranged in a specific sequence, which farmers can identify with. So if they observe carefully, they'll know that this is genuine. Secondly, this has a unique identification number, which then they can send it to the uh, on SMS to our call center which replies back to them conveying whether it is a genuine product or it's a uh, spurious or counterfeit product. So that's original. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
you know, the counterfeits in the market <clears throat> and uh, copycat. So this bottle looks very similar, but the Izon is not the original one. So this is cut from some uh, bottle and used here. What about Traceology cloud system? Is that different from Izon? Do they work together? For the lay person, explain it. So it's a, the way we are looking at it is, I think, bring the QR code. So it could be either embedded as part of Izon, and it's work in progress for us, or it could be a different uh, system on the bottle, which helps us track our product right from the factory gate till the time it reaches the farmer. So the, the tracing that we will do of our product will help us you know, keep a track of which batch is moving in which market. Farmer DuPont ka koi bhi saman lene aata hai, sab se pehle ve Aizon sticker dekhta hai. Uske baare mein phir jahe message ka number likha hua hota hai. Message karke dekhta hai, to jahe product asli hai ya nakli hai. Usse jahe product ka pata chal jata hai, message aa jata hai ki ye product valid hai. Kisan santushto jata hai. The crop protection team of DuPont holds regular meetings with farmers and also collaborates with the local village bodies to spread the knowledge of authentic DuPont products amongst the farmers' community. Where the question of the natural and the natural is concerned, it's like the DuPont initiative has taken on the hologram product, which we can identify and identify it, that this product is natural or natural. This is what the farmer and our grower association is understanding the groups. For the past two years, Sachin has been using DuPont's Coragin in his sugarcane farm. He can now distinguish the authentic DuPont product from its counterfeit and knows well the technique of spraying it in the fields. This is also a big part of our gun, a big part of our gun, and the gun is also good. And this is the result of our gun, which has increased by 80-90%. By bringing such revolutionary solutions for crop protection in India, DuPont is creating a significant impact in the Indian food system, aiming for a zero hunger objective along the way. We are aiming with crop protection chemicals, zero crop losses from pests and diseases. So if we do not have zero kind of feeds, it's not going to help us achieve that objective in the first place. You have heard our Prime Minister talk in the context of Make in India. Zero defect, zero effect. So counterfeits are all about full of defects and full of effects because they have all the defects, so therefore they will not help you protect crops uh, from uh, losses. And all the effects, because they're not safer to environment, to beneficials, to food chain, to soil and water. It's all the more important in agriculture contests that we should have products with zero defects and they should, have, they should be safer to the environment, so zero effects, which together will help us produce more, leading to zero hunger objective. Our first story ensures that pesticides meant to protect crops from damage-inducing pests are real and helpful. Our next story also looks at how to achieve maximum food production through zero crop failure, but it studies just how vulnerable a standing crop is to bacteria that hampers a quality harvest. <laughs>